Yes, the success of the team in the last few years has been exceptional. Uh, so every time we launch a new car, there is a lot of anticipation and uh, excitement. But uh, as you touch on, some, some nerves and also uh, some expectation. Uh, the bar is very high. Uh, we have cleaned up in the last few years. Uh, Constructors' Championship last year was very dominant. So both drivers are performing towards the front, obviously, uh, and the team being very, very reliable. Uh, you know, we know that uh, we have to keep working hard and the continuity has been a key factor in that. Uh, all of our partners have been great for us and uh, you know, there's no reason in 2012 we cannot be really challenging for top results again. I'm very excited about driving the car for the first time. Uh, it's a huge amount of work gone into it as, uh, as always with a, with a new car and uh, the initial running is really getting as much information as we can, learning what the car, uh, where its strengths are, where some of its weaknesses might be, uh, and then we need to work on those very, very quickly. Obviously, we don't have much testing before we get to Melbourne, uh, and before we know it, the winter program is pretty much over. So uh, it is a big responsibility and one that yeah, clearly I'm looking forward to. I think every year, uh, as you say, last year wasn't uh, an amazing season, but it wasn't too bad for me. I still managed to finish third in the, in the Drivers' Championship, not far off second with Jensen there. So it was a great way for me to finish the year with uh, the, the victory in Brazil and many, many strong results, as you say, towards the back part of the championship. So uh, we're always learning as athletes and uh, I'm looking forward to 2012. Uh, it's got some great opportunities for me and, uh, you know, there's uh, the old cliche, you know, take each race that comes, but uh, that's how it'll be initially and uh, we'll go from there. The win in Brazil was, was, was a great feeling. I think that, uh, you know, at this level when you win, uh, it's always uh, very rewarding, uh, the amount of effort that goes in. But uh, when you have uh, the feeling again, having the national anthem, you know, all those things which uh, you absolutely remind yourself of how, uh, how, how unique it is and how important it is to uh, get the most out of yourself and, and win those Grand Prix. So uh, very, very special. The characteristics of the RB8, we're looking for a car that's very drivable, uh, which means you know not only air, from an engine side, Renault will do a good job there, but also aerodynamically. We need to have a car that's uh, functional on all circuits, uh, in all temperatures, and uh, clearly we need to get the best out of the tyres, which was a, a huge thing last year for everybody. And uh, that's pretty much done now. Everyone knows how the tyres behave, so uh, that's, uh, that's old news. We need to uh, move on and uh, you know, develop the car as best we can uh, without the exhaust uh, effect into the, the blown diffuser, which was a very powerful thing that the teams used last year. This year that's changed, so that's going to be a key area of uh, uh, trying to understand the, the losses we've had there. Yes, they've changed the tyres a little bit this year, but I think uh, it's pretty much old news. The tyres, uh, they've been around for a while now. The teams get on top of that stuff reasonably quickly and the drivers, uh, you know, I mean, I'm talking in the space of a few months to, to half a year, which is, which is pretty quick. So, uh, you know, the, the teams know what we're in for this year and uh, we can stuck into the racing. I think uh, off the back of last year, you know, any any sportsman uh, or woman, uh, you know, when you when you don't, uh, you know, get the most out of uh, the situation, you always want to come back and improve and, and do a better job. And uh, you know, the bar has been lifted very, very high in the last few seasons, and that's the challenge I'm looking forward to. Uh, I've had a really good winter and, and prepared for the season as best I can. So, looking forward to. Uh, the new season. Uh, just cannot wait to get racing now. Obviously we can talk a lot about it but we need to get on the track. Uh, I've had a great break actually. Uh, we, after Brazil I came back here uh, to Europe uh, and did some stuff uh, in Austria for Red Bull which was good. We did the show car run in Milton Keynes. Uh, then I did my, the, the Tasmania Challenge uh, which was uh, Really enjoyable to see how that went and uh, it was a great race down there and then I could really switch off actually, you know, do a bit of surfing, uh, also got the motorbikes out so had a bit of fun with those so uh, it's really good to spend it with some really, you know, quality people that I love being with and, uh, you know, away from, away from the sport for a while but uh, I must say that uh, come the middle of January always getting itchy feet ready to get back in the car again so uh, it was a perfect, perfect balance for me to, uh, to unwind.